Yeah. Throw more of those biscuits. All right. Oop, interception. Give <laughs> me my biscuit. Uh -huh. yeah. Ah, it's my biscuit. No, it's not. I'm I intercepted it. it. I asked for it. I intercepted it. Oh, Jace, there's one more. Hand it to me. Lucky day. Oh. 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 There's no biscuits in it. <laughs> he just got you back. When we were kids, eating food was serious business. Here, I'll share this with you. Here. Give me that. Oh. Oh. He didn't just lick that biscuit. It's yeah. a quick lick, sir. Oh, good no biscuit. Classic move. Obviously, Willie became the king of defending his vittles. And you wonder why I whip their tail so much. This is where it all starts. <laughs> Willie was like a ninja. How do you think he got so big? This is what started the daily wrestling epic battles, stuff like this. Didn't y'all fight over toast and pizza one time? Yeah, that's the greatest match that we ever had. I mean, he's cooking a pizza for 25 minutes. I wanted the oven for one minute. Oh, I was already not. in there and I already claimed it. I'm not going to wait 30 minutes. We can settle the end. So no. I can turn it on broil for one minute. We Come. had a toaster oven. Why don't you just put it in there? Hey, you got your butt whooped, doesn't I didn't get my butt whooped, son. What are you talking about? You were crying like a little girl. The Robertson men have been wrestling for generations. I picked him up and then slammed him on the can of flour and just flour went everywhere. You remember that? Now, technically speaking, most of the wrestling matches were physical altercations over food. He started asking for mercy. I never asked for mercy. Yeah. But it was those altercations that made us such great wrestlers. And then their cousins came and they declared war on them. They started it. And when it came to the brawls we had with our cousins in the backyard, we dominated. I remember Willie and Amy. That was terrible. Amy whipped Willie's tail. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, she whipped you. You talk about a bad you memory. Girl? No, I didn't. Hey, if your record is 99 and 1, you're still dominating. She had him in a headlock, and he was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I want to wrestle. I'll show you some moves. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he probably even went Willie. It's been done before by other girls in the family. True, true. Where is Mia? She's packing. She insisted on doing it herself. Oh. Probably a full bag of her stuffed animals. That way she's not nervous at the hospital. Babe, nobody is as nervous as you are about this. I'm not nervous. I didn't say I was nervous. Next week, my daughter Mia is having her fifth surgery to address her cleft lip and palate. I'm just not a big fan of hospitals. It's a tough one, but she's a tough kid. Be positive. I know, but I can't quit thinking about it. It'll be fine. She doesn't rattle easy. What else is there to worry about? Just the hospitals, the hospital food. What? She's got nerves of steel. Why would you serve such horrific food? Jay. She's got Jace Robertson nerves of steel. I'm fine, I'm fine. OK. I'm fine, I'm good. OK. And right now, I kind of wish I had them back. Hey, sister. Hey, Mia. Here, scoot yourself up. Are you all packed up? Yes, sir. What'd you pack? A uh, stuffed animal. Oh, uh, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. So is there something you want to do, maybe, before we head out of town? Whatever you want to do. Think carefully. What about, um, like, bowling? You have a bowling party? Pam, Pam, no. What's wrong with bowling? That's disgusting. Don't choose that. Look, I love the redneck culture. Where I take exception is hand-me-downs. There's a lot of people nice. who have fungus of the toes. You want me to put on some shoes that hundreds of people have worn? Would you wear used underwear? No! What's the difference? Let me pay you $3 so that I could possibly get a fungus, lose two of my toes, and wind up at the ER. Chase, that's disgusting. <laughs> the last thing we need is both of us to wind up in the hospital. Now, look, if you want to go bowling, we'll go. I was just making a point. I'm not getting any fungus. Good choice. <laughs> OK, Mia, what do you want to do? 
How about a family party? That's a good idea. I think that's really sweet. Great idea. So what kind of party do you want? Like last night, we had a big meal all together? Like Dad's cousins, like the wrestling ones. OK. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for them. Oh, no. I got a lot of cousins. Well, bring them on in. All right. What kind of food do you want at this party? Milkers, biscuits. <laughs> and okay. duck jambalaya. I'm going to have to start making some calls. But don't expect too many people, because this is kind of last minute, OK? OK. I just want to see Dad wrestle. Well, you <laughs> see me wrestle? Hey, I'll get you in a headlock right now. All right, I got now. some skills now. <laughs> hey, save for Willie. Good advice. <laughs> you want to wrestle? Oh, maybe later. That's disgusting. <laughs> Can I clip this now? No. This is about the dumbest idea I've seen lately. What? This is actually a good idea. Chase, every time the girls put us out here, they tell us to do this crap, and they're never satisfied with it. So I say, let's just rent a tent and screw this. Tell them it didn't work. This is awesome. Look, you're taking a bunch of tarps and rope, and you're making a tent. That's pretty cool. Look, I make no secret that I don't like setting up decorations. You can rent a tent that has walls, and you can put a heater Anybody in Anybody can do that. This is more natural. But in this case, since we're throwing a party for Mia, I want to make this as good as it can be. I'm creating a shelter, tapping into my wild spirit. Oh, my gosh. I'm kind of starting to sound like Missy here, which is scary. You may need to know this if you're lost in the woods one day. And you happen to have 15 tarps on you. <laughs> what were you doing, going to a tarp convention? And you got lost in the woods? There's a lot of stuff laying around in the woods. Not canvas. I just think, <laughs> look. <laughs> All right. Hey, can, my bad, Survivor Man. I'm trying to do something fun here. This is fun? It'd be fun if you'd let me clip it. So I just hold this? But hold on, this is complicated, and you got to do this right, or we'll have to do it over yeah, and over. Yeah, it looks real complicated. It's a sheet. Can I clip that? <sighs> the most effective way to manage a team is the hands-off approach. Once you've assembled a team as strong as this one, you can just let it go. When are you going to let me clip that? Last. If I've got to stand here and hold this for the whole party, this is going to get old. Just let everybody else do the work and offer your help when it's needed. Let's do it, crap. I want to clip that now. You ready? Godwin, don't do it. I don't know what's going on. You want to clip it now? No. When you want me to clip it? Can I clip that now? I want to clip it. Can I clip it now? Can I clip this now? Can I clip that? You got one job, and that's to hold that knot. Clip it? No, don't clip it. Clip that. You cannot micromanage. It's freezing out here. They've got to learn to walk on their own. No, 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 you're not clipping right now. Just push that baby bird out of the nest and let it fly. You let that God, down. Let, go. let that down. Huh? Or it hits the ground really hard. Here she is. Hey, boys, let me tell you what's fixing to happen. I've been doing this for 20 years with her. She's going to walk up. She's going to hate it. You're just wasting your time, son. You ought to just put it down right now. How could you not like this? I'm going to tell her we tried our best, but it's a crappy idea. I just disagree. It's not a crappy idea. Well, good. I'll tell her it's your idea, and then you'll look stupid. Fine. Hey, Corey. Hey. How's it going? I think it's going pretty good. Um, this whole thing is stupid. This whole rope system you've concocted, it's going to hold the tarps up? Yes. Is that stupid or what? You think it's going to be secure enough? I'm hoping it will. Yep, people will be hurt. I love the natural color tarp. That's going to look really good. Uh-oh. I can't wait to see it finished. I'm with it. Yeah, I think it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how you get that part of the decorating crew job. Phil, just sitting over there cleaning the shotgun and shocker Jep not doing anything. They're going hunting. They got to get some ducks for the gumbo. Do what? We need ducks. Miss Kay's making gumbo. You're sending Jep? Well, with Phil. I mean, that's ridiculous. And I realize I'm the dad, so I'll do whatever it takes to make this party a success. Yep. But it does kind of make you wonder, whose idea was it to send Jep honey? How does he always weasel himself into... Let's face it, Jep's not that much help when it comes to, like, climbing and stringing rope and all that. And working. Or just help in general. 
One would realize that I'm a way better duck hunter than I am a decorator. Why, Jeff? I'm the most qualified. My talents are being severely underused. Uh, I guess because he's the baby. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I'm a team player. What do you want me to do? Jeff, shut up. We're trying to work. <laughs> Look at Jeff over there doing nothing. I wasn't waving, you idiot. He thinks we're waving at him. I wasn't waving. I wasn't waving! What's he talking about? I don't know. I guess he just wanted to say hey. I doubt that. I ain't going over there to find out. I don't blame you. I'm, I'm clipping in. Hey, Dad, when you get done cleaning that gun, will you clean mine? Yeah, I'll knock it out. Thanks, Dad. Oh, look, Dad. It's Gordon. Yeah. Look at this rig. Does that have yuppie written all over it? How are y'all? Good. Jess, Jess. What? You get to see Gordon. Jeff, I've seen Gordon, babe. No, you've never yeah. seen them two together. Rag on each other's awesome. How did you put it off marrying my sister? Oh. I just want to know. Watch <laughs> it. So how you been? You look homeless. You look mighty bright. Thank you. Where'd you get that shirt? Jan bought it for me. <laughs> see? <laughs> Gordon is the only one of the Robertson clan where he seems to be some kind of psychiatrist or insurance man, something like that. Clean pants, khakis. Like it's a bad thing. <laughs> if you took a picture of the Robertson clan, they would say, yeah, 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 Robertson, Robertson, Robertson. Whoa, oh, let's back up a little bit. Uh, who's that guy there in the pink? Fresh out of Florida. What's the deal with that dude? I'm not used to looking at a neat person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. He married in. Oh, oh, excuse me. You ought to try it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the line to make you say, I think I'll spend the rest of my life with a guy from Florida? She was looking for a man that was not from the Paleolithic era, if you know what I mean. I don't. The caveman era. Mm. I love it. Yep. Yeah. I do have a caveman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so, uh, you guys are going hunting, huh? Yeah, we're going hunting. We go every day, Gordon. Why don't you take him hunting, Phil? Mm. I think it's a good idea. My dad isn't known for being a good people person, and that's with people he likes. Go to you big duck hunter right out of Florida. Oh, yeah. I can outshoot you. I can guarantee you that. Oh. I don't know, Gordon, about that. And when he's around people he doesn't like, that's when you get the popcorn, sit back, and watch the fireworks. Well, we'll just have to find out when we get out there in the duck. Mm. Blind, or whatever <laughs> you call it. <laughs> Nothing's better than Dad versus Gordo. Would you like for him to go? Yeah. Yes, definitely. It's going to be embarrassing for you. Hey, whatever you think, let's go see if you can shoot a gun as well as you shoot that mouth of yours off here. This is going to be awesome. Is this all this thing does? Boy, this thing here runs like a Cadillac. You drive like an old lady. I must admit, old, old Gordon got a look about him. Yeah, looks like some kind of banker. <laughs> you can tell he ain't from around here. Well, when you have an extra spot in your blind, and you got an extra man over there on the sideline. I'd say he looks like a teacher. Maybe a psychiatrist, you know? Looks like you're going to play golf or something. As a southerner, you say, well, the right thing to do would be to give the spot to old Gordon. He got the four-day Yasser Arafat beard growth going there. But you know, when you take a guy duck hunting and he shows up in pink. This is not pink. It's watermelon. Just something not right about that. Do you have hairspray in your hair? It's a first, but uh, we'll make it work. Dash, we got to do something about them pants. What do you dude. mean? I mean, you know, white britches. Put a little mud on them britches, and you'll be ready to go there, Dash. Yeah. Oh, now. This Hold is on. the old gray beard to Hold on. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 <laughs> now we'll get them britches oh. the right color. Whoa, now. Oh. Oh! <laughs> That'll make him nads run up your belly. <laughs> Dude, I get my shoes wet. 
<laughs> In my bag. <laughs> Ow! Oh. 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 Oh, let's do it again, Dad. Now you're ready to go on. I need something else to wear. All of a sudden, it hit me. My inner self said, this is too good. You should never listen to your inner self. It's probably wrong. Typical Willie to miss the forest for the trees while we're in the woods. No, I'm saying we, we did too good a job, because now they're going to be expecting this every time. I mean, it's pretty hard to do, is what I'm saying. It's not that impressive. Oh, it's awesome. What we're creating here is one of the greatest parties the world has ever known for my daughter. No, for rednecks, this is Egyptian pyramid stuff. It's a sheet in the air. However, this is the same man who used zip ties to make an arbor for my parents' wedding. We should have got a tent. Yeah. So, what are you doing in my truck? I took me a nap. What'd you leave my door open for? Trust me. You don't want me leaving the door open, OK? Take a nap in your own truck. You know, y'all going to raise the flag, or you going to play tiddlywinks? As you're putting on bungee cords for no, suspenders? No, these are suspenders. Si, you kind of got a wrestler look there. Pretty cool. I like it. I don't think Si would make a very good wrestler. He'd make an awesome one. He's already got the catchphrase and everything. Yeah. What is the catchphrase? Hey. No, hey is just a word, one word. Hey, look, yo, know, I've been saying hey before I could even remember, OK? And look, I can tell you one thing, though. It's not a catchphrase. I went to school, OK? A phrase is three or more words. Not a catchphrase. Hey, no, what's catch got to be with, with it? If you want a catchphrase, elementary, my dear Watson, live long and prosper. Book them, Dano. Did I do that? You're fired. What you talking about, Willis? Dino Mike. One, two, three. He's out! Hey. No, it's still just one word. Hey, hey ain't no catchphrase. Just one word. Hey, ho, that's about as stupid as it gets worse. That is the catchphrase. Everybody has to have one. Well, you ain't got no catchphrase. What are you talking about? Cut to the chase, Jace. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> Jace. Everyone knows that the catchphrase is the cornerstone to being a great wrestler. That is so stupid. No, it's not. That's action. It also means that if you're going to watch wrestling, you have to have your own catchphrase. I don't think it works. No, well, we disagree. What a shock. I thought everybody knew this. We agree to disagree. No, we don't agree to disagree. We just disagree. We agree in our disagreement. No, we don't agree. We just disagree. We agree that we disagree. There is some agreement on the disagreement. I just want to disagree. I don't want to agree to anything. You're wrong. Except Willie. Nothing's ever easy with him. What's happening, hobos? He just call us a hobo? What are y'all up to? We're hanging tarps. And we're talking about wrestling catchphrases. Cut to the chase, Jace. That's your catchphrase? Of course it's my catchphrase. Mine's bang zone. Bang zone? That's a terrible catchphrase. Bang zone. Bang zone? That's always, everybody knows that. Bang zone. It's been around since the 80s. Bang Zone, how are you at lifting tarps? Well, I'm not here to lift tarps. I'm here to get your credit card. I got to go down and take care of the family. For what? For the hotel. Yeah, you're the one that said they could stay in a hotel. I never, I said they could stay at a hotel and say I was paying for it. It's family, man. Come on. It was your idea. Get the money out, fork up. You know, my catchphrase is going to be put it on a card. But I got cash, too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Put it on the car. Put it on the car, but I got cash too. Why would you need a card if you had cash? Just, it's options. Just drop the cash part and maybe. You should have just called yourself the American Express. You got the bandana on? No, it's not it's the not, American Express. It's not. Put it on the car, but I got cash too. Put it on the car, but I got cash too. <laughs> That's not, yeah. No. Hey, deep pockets, cash, doing the cash. Card mash. <laughs> That's right, because you got the cash or carry cards, all right, with the box car Willie mash. Right. 
Gordon, you're beginning to look like a real man in that camo, dude. I reek. I smell like a dump truck or something. But somebody died in this thing. Well. Then I don't know what it is. It's because we never wash our hunting clothes. For real? Ever. Miss Kay likes to say, you know, cleanliness is next to godliness, which is kind of a strange thing for a hoarder to say, but hey. Why? Because you wash the warmth out of them. Modern people are obsessed with cleanliness. Soap powder is not a good thing for hunting clothes. That might be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's the truth. Leeching and bleaching one's apparel every 30 minutes, that's not next to godliness. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, Dad, I think that's only you. I actually wash my clothes. Nope. Actually, that's next to germophobia. That's what I would call that. My hunting clothes, I hang them up and let them air dry, and they'll smell as fresh as the wind-driven snow. You do not smell as fresh as the wind-driven snow. I can't smell me. Can you smell me? I can't smell you either. Oh, For real? I'm I can. not smelling me, are you? Can you smell me? Yes. Did you smell like a dragon fart? It's an earthy smell. You get used to it. How often do you personally bathe? Mm, during hunting season, once a week. That often, huh? Yo. How long has that been in there? <laughs> now that I've stirred the hornet's nest, time to sit back and watch. I guarantee you there are ticks and other vermin crawling around in there. I have found ticks in my whiskers. My dad can get really annoyed by Gordon. You know they invented razors. Razors? Yeah. Reason being, Gordon is really annoying. Someone needs to do a microbial inspection. They need to find out what that is growing in there. He's a great man, very annoying. I thought we were going to go duck hunting. I haven't seen a single duck yet. Where are they? You're learning the exercise of patience, Gordon. You have to be patient. At some point, it does involve ducks, right? See, this is hunting. You wait. How could it be hunting if you're sitting in one spot? Hunting is the pursuit of some animal. We're not pursuing anything. We're waiting for them to come here. You learn how to be patient. I don't see any ducks in the sky. I don't see any ducks in the water. I don't hear any ducks in the distance. There's a duck. Oh, no, that's a speck on my glasses. This is fun, though. I'm glad you're enjoying it there, Gordo. You missed him. Crap, I thought I had that one. I didn't. You didn't? Gordon, I've noticed. See, we've already killed. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven cannot be attributed to your gunning skills. I'm not used to this gun. That's the problem. Yeah, we're beginning to believe that, mm -hmm. really. Any guy who's not a seasoned veteran makes it more difficult to kill ducks, no doubt about it. Look, blue duck, because he's not used to people like yuppies hunting. So he's thinking, well, if he's shot, where are the ducks? Does he know how to call? Does he know how to shoot? Does he know how to hide himself and not rubberneck? Boom, boom, boom. See, you've depressed my dog. My dog is depressed now. Maybe he can go get some therapy somewhere. Dog therapy. I'm not saying that all hope is lost with old Gordon, but we may not find it today. It would make me feel better if you could kill a duck. You know I'll what I'm kill saying? I'll kill a duck. Because I don't want your manhood completely destroyed here in one day. Trust me. My manhood is fully intact. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Ask your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. -y. Gordon, Gordon. I'm just saying. Oh, it's gross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fully intact. Gordon, right here. Right here on your right. Right here. Cut him. Cut him. All right, Jeff, that's a good one to quit on. Let's call it a wrap. Yeah. Where are we going? Every time that we take a yuppie duck hunting, I am reaching out to the human race. You got to give me a chance, man. I I was out of practice. No, the chances are over. Hey, hold on, guys. Fellow like Gordon, he doesn't realize all that. He just want to go duck hunting. He thinks, it's, you know, we're going to get them every day. But you just take you a few more hunts, and you'll blend in and bond with us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't wait. It's uh, quite the opposite, actually. Wait a minute. Is that one right there? Hey! I 
I got that sucker. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Miracles do happen. Well, I'm feeling better about him. All right, we can go now. Now you're a man. Hey, I was a man before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a man. We need to do this again. No. You know what I can't figure out? Is why Hacksaw Jim Duggan never had a saw. He just had a two by four. He should have been two by four, Jim Duggan. Or... Yeah, but they don't have the same ring. Hey, spread out thinner. It's too cloppy. Yeah. I'd like to get old Hacksaw Jim Duggan's two by four and do a little work on you. I've had a few favorite wrestlers in my life, but none of them compared to Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ah, shoot! The man was an American through and through. USA, USA. And on top of all that, he had the greatest catchphrase the wrestling world has ever known. Oh! 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 It doesn't get any better than that. All right, I'll get back to work. Back to work. That's it. That's your catchphrase. Wow. Uh, get back to work. I like it. Get back to work, Willie. You come out to the ring, you get up there and you say, get back to work. Get back to work. Get back to work. Get back, back to work. work. Ho! Oh. No, you can't get use the work. ho. That's already been used. How about a work whistle? That's it. Get back to work. That's Woo. pretty good. What? What in the world? It's <laughs> here! I wish I could say this is the best idea I've ever had. But I have other good ideas all the time, so it's actually hard to keep track. What is this? You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Plus, Jay set his hand in this idea, so automatically that takes it down a notch. Bouncy house, bouncy house. Oh, hey, it's better than a bouncy house. Nothing's better than a bouncy house. But still a solid idea. I mean, the kids, they're going to have the time of their lives. And it's all about the kids. What? Ta-da! That's not a bounce house. What is that? It's a wrestling ring. No bouncy house? Gowan, we're still getting a bouncy house. But this is the pinnacle of the party. Is it safe? No. This is what Mia wanted. She wanted to see the cousins wrestle. This is not put together, and it looks like a lot of work. So get back to work. What happened to the whistle? Crap. <laughs> Gowan. All right, y'all put this thing together. What are you, allergic to wrestling rings now? I got to pay the guy. Y'all get back <sighs> to work. Look at that mess. Oh, sweet. What is it? This. Huh? Don't even think about it. Oh, give me the crown. Let me see it. Ah, we're ah. getting somewhere. I'm the king of this baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mia's gonna love these costumes. Uh -oh. Here you go, Burger King. Or they're gonna terrify her. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Uh -oh. oh, my God. <laughs> This could be the party of her dreams. Yes, sir, Bob. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Or the beginning of recurring nightmares. That's not for guys with beards. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It won't even fit your head. It works. No. <laughs> it's a little snug. Are you taking a selfie? Yes. That looks awesome. No, it doesn't. No, seriously, it doesn't. Why not? It's too much hair coming out from it. You'd it never see matter. any of them. Huh? It doesn't matter. How many of those hair. have you seen with hair coming out of them? I think it looks awesome. It looks like you kidnapped a family of rats with a blue toe sack. Let me try it. All right. OK, we got something see? going now. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. it. Look at it. That is <laughs> it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. It actually improved your look. Really? It did. Yeah. El Lichador. What's that, bullfighters? That's a matador, dummy. I'm a luchador! <laughs> All right, we... Yeah. There's some work to be done there. That's not even how you do it. 
I'm keeping this on. All right, whatever. Y'all get back to work. Oh, here we go. Woo! I'm looking at door. Yeah. Is that them? Yep, there they are. Do you have fun? Oh, yeah. Miss K, that what you're looking for? What is that smell? That would be this jacket. I think a dead man laid in this jacket for about a week before <laughs> they peeled like... it off of him. You stink, bro. I haven't smelled anything all day. Phil smells about like a dead lizard. Dad, he don't smell much better. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'd have never noticed it if you hadn't brought it up. I smell a lot of dead lizards in my day, and they don't smell good. You should try deodorant. It really works. But I do love live lizards. I play with them. Bobo plays with them, but he tries to murder them. Well, did y'all have a good time, at least? Me and Dad killed a few ducks. Hey, hey, I killed one. You killed a duck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More yuppie luck than anything else, but hey. Yep, yuppie luck. Pure yuppie luck. Yeah, he just winged it. Yuppie luck. I think he was a sick duck. I thought I was hallucinating. Yep. But it did happen. Yuppie luck. No doubt. Yuppie luck. Oh, I had an awesome time. I know that. Oh, it was a blast. I think y'all should go hunting again. Hey, don't y'all think you're a little bit too old to be doing this stuff? Oh, no. James, they look like little kids. Normally, in a situation like this, I would be concerned about Willie getting hurt. There you go. <laughs> but I have not seen Willie exercise this much since he stopped doing the Tybo videos in the living room. Oh, oh, my God. God. Okay, so he's gonna get hurt. And I think those were on VHS, too. We'll be laid up for a week. Uh, it's been a while. You okay, babe? Mm. Y'all are old men. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> oh. The last fight that Will and I got into, I mean, physical altercation. <laughs> we were grown men. DDT! <laughs> the fight ended with a belly-to-back pile driver. He's out! Onto the kitchen table. <laughs> Compliments of Jace. Wait, I'm up! Dude, y'all got a wrestling ring? Yeah. Y'all want to go another round? You're the one that got the duck hunt. We had to stay and work. Well, that was terrible. I want to wrestle. Hey, you doing? Come on, I can show y'all the hobbage of hay. Hobbage of what? <clears throat> show us your hobbage of hay. Heck yeah. <laughs> you got to grab him right here? Oh. <laughs> my older brothers have picked on me my whole life but it's only made me stronger. Mama always called me her little macho man. But even the macho man couldn't take on Stone Cold Steve Austin and Andre the Giant at the same time. But win or lose, I'm gonna still go home and miss Elizabeth. Take it down, Jim! Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did he do that? Because that hurts my throat. <coughs> what? No, Hold no, on, get up. Oh, oh. I think I got the he worst end of that. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Look at this crew. Hey. Hey. What? <laughs> oh. Hi, kiddos. Y'all are so sweet to come in the freezing cold. The Robertsons are coming out of the woodwork for this reunion. This is going to show true love, because if people come when it's this cold, it's got to be out of love. And this just shows Mia that our family tree is gnarly and bearded. All right, well, let's go party. You want to, right, Mia? Let's do this. <laughs> So here we are at the Robertson family reunion on a very, very cold day, but the whole family came out, so we're gonna be getting to know a few of the family members. So how are y'all related to the Robertson family? Tell us your name and how you're related to the family. Um, Katie, this is my husband, Butch. We're first cousins. That's right. Chris Howard, I'm related to Corey because she is my daughter. Bring it. Huh? Bring it. <laughs> Bring it. 
my grandmother Judy was um, Phil's sister. Paisley? Her name is Paisley. She's so pretty. My mom is related to Willie. State your name and how you're related to the Robertson family. Hello, what is your name? Jay, I'm married in. Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm Sai's daughter. And how are you related to us? Size Hey, what's your name? You want your mommy? Oh! 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 That's a surprise, son. We got a little surprise in store. Oh, yeah? It's Who doesn't like fun. a wrestling ring? Wasn't it you that one time with Amy? She had yes. you pinned down like no, a No, she didn't have me pinned down. <laughs> I was always taught to never hit a girl. And when you're young, that gives them an unfair advantage. She had me pinned down for a second, and then I spun around through the leg scissors on her and lights out. That's not the way I remember it. No, that's, that's the way it happened. Plus, she knew karate. At least she said she did. You got whooped by a woman. I didn't get whooped by a woman. Hey, y'all got a fuzzy memory about these things. I guess I have to thank her, though, because otherwise I would have never taken up Tai Bo. Or is it Tai Bo? There she be. Hey, there's Amy right there. Some time for a rematch, yeah, maybe? Yeah, sorry. Hey, I buried the hatchet. Hey, Amy, how are you? Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> 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 well, I'll, I will see you on the other side. Um, John, where are you living at? Now? It was good catching up with you guys. You ready to get this thing started? Yeah. Right, I gotta find Mia. All right. Hey, all right. All right, I just want to welcome everybody to the Robertson Family Reunion. And uh, thank you guys so much for showing up. Uh, good to see some uh, familiar beards. Will. Huh? You gotta turn on the mic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, the reason that we're here is because of Mia. She's uh, gonna have surgery, and we asked her what she wanted to do, and she said she wanted to have a big family party. So uh, this is for her, and we wanted to encourage her as she goes into surgery and really just be together as a family. Thank you. I asked Mia if she wanted to say a few words, and she said she would, and so I'm gonna give you Mia Robertson. <laughs> and evidently, she has some notes. You done broke out of speech here. <laughs> My name is Mia Elaine Robertson, and I was born with a cleft lip and, and cleft palate. Jace and I try to focus on being brave and strong and a support system for Mia. I've had four surgeries so far, and I'll have another one in a few days. It's a big But then, you know, I look at her and I think, she's being brave for all of us. I have to drink all my food for three months. I'm a little scared about that because I'm really going to miss chicken nuggets. It, it makes me realize that she's growing up. My favorite verse is Psalm 4610, Be still and know that I am God. I like this verse because whenever I feel sad or have struggles, I know that God is bigger than all that, and he is bigger than any of your struggles too. My daughter is just an amazing kid. We're just all really impressed by her. Thank you for coming. All right. Now, you're probably wondering why there's a wrestling ring here. We got a little surprise for you guys. Y'all ready? Yeah. 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 Johnny D. Oh. Oh. Now, yeah. let's get ready to wrestle. Most family reunions involve like a three-legged race, a couple of hot dogs, cheesy T-shirt. That's not how the Robertsons do things. We have none other than that's all, Jim oh, That's what I'm talking about. 
There's always got to be an awesome factor at every event. I need a referee. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> For us, it's not a party until someone's come off the top turnbuckle with the elbow. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, Get out. Take a male redneck to a chick flick, he wants to fight. You take him to a wrestling event, he'll cry like a beggar. It's because wrestling to rednecks is a soap opera. They're addicted to it. Let's pray together. Father, we love you. We're grateful for the gift of life. We're all mindful of Mia and the surgery that she has to undergo. We pray that she will continue to have that smile on her face and bring joy to those around her. Through Jesus we pray, amen. 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 Sometimes family means everybody has to pull together to get through tough times. Even though this family reunion was born out of something difficult, Mia's surgery, what came out of it was something great. Our kids were introduced to long lost relatives and we had a sweet backyard wrestling match. And while the tales of my own previous wrestling matches may or may not be true, what I do know is that this family reunion is going to be talked about for years. And that's one of the greatest things that family can pass down, stories people can tell for generations to come. Well, that and the recipe to Miss Kay's duck jambalaya. All right, y'all get back to work. Ooh. Hey, that ain't no catchphrase. So basically, we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?